Um, this has been a really big request recently. A lot of people have been asking to see my updated perfume collection. First thing, it's not a collection, it's just kind of all the perfumes that I own. I don't really collect perfumes, um, at least not in the same way that I seem to collect blushes, if you know what I mean. Like, it's not a conscious thing. I feel like a collection is more... Whoa! Angry bird! Uh, I feel like a collection is more of a kind of conscious thing, like stamp collecting or something. But um, that aside, the noise that you could probably hear, the fan of my laptop is, um, which sounds like a dying steam train, is because my laptop's working hard to export um, a video which I just edited. So, with that in mind, we're going to get going on my perfumes, because so many of you have asked, I keep asking, and it makes me feel bad that I've not done it yet. So we're going to start with, if I can find it, YSL Parisienne. This, I mean, the usage speaks for itself. This is definitely in my top five or six fragrances. This is one of those ones I can just pick up and I can wear any time of the year. Um, I love it. It doesn't last particularly long on me, so that's probably why as well quite a lot of it, a lot of it is gone. But I will repurchase this for a very long time. Um, the notes of this are, by the way I had to make notes because I can't remember the notes of every perfume that I have, so the notes of this are rose, peony, violet, cranberry and blackberry. When I smell it I get kind of that sugared violets and roses scent and like everything pink and delicious in the whole world, everything sweet, like candy floss and you know just pink things. Um, kind of reminds me of that nursery rhyme, um, what's the little girl is made of, sugar, spice and all things nice. This is definitely a very, very feminine fragrance. Um, the times that I wear it all year round, every day, I don't feel like this has a particular season. It's just a really delicious, sweet, feminine fragrance. Very, very sweet. I'd always get asked what I'm wearing when I wear this. When I was in a shop in Belgium, I was asked what I was wearing. The shop assistant had, like felt compelled to ask me. That's how delicious it is. Okay, next fragrance is one of my other favourites, Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. Still in the box because I um I subscribe to the school of thought that if you pay a, a hell of a lot for a perfume, you should bloody well keep the box. Get your money's worth. This is. Supposedly unisex, though I've been reliably informed that it isn't. I don't really care. I love this so much. I haunted the Tom, F Tom Ford private blend bar in Selfridges, Manchester when I worked there. I would go and spray it every so often and then we, we got a little card, you know, you spray the little card, you take it home and it lasted for like a week and it still smelled delicious. So Kiri and I went half seas on this. Um, he gets really jealous when I wear it. The notes are vanilla, tonka bean, tobacco, cacao, spices and dried fruit. When I smell this I get that kind of spicy sweet warmth, like a huge kind of smoky fuggy hug like in front of a fire or something. It's like, it's a really kind of cosy scent, it wraps you up. Um, I heard it described on the internet as a scent from a gentleman's club and that's exactly what it is, it's kind of a really sweet, smoky, uh, just, it's a, it's kind of a gourmand scent, I think, I think it's quite foody and chocolatey. Um, I wear this only in winter and when I want to feel expensive, classy, um, when we're going out somewhere fancy. Um, what I will say about this is if you spray just two squirts, a tiny amount, this will last you this, you will wake up smelling of it, just two squirts, and we have used hardly any of it since we bought it because you need so little. Next is Coco Mademoiselle. I quite like this, but I would never ever say it's one of my favourites. Um, the notes are orange, jasmine, Turkish rose, vanilla, white musk. You know, it's fairly standard for a, a cami will like it fragrance. Um, when I smell it, I kind of get that musky, classy f female scent, like, you know, if someone sweeps past you in the street like a classy looking lady and you get this kind of wave of perfume, I feel like this is what it would be. It's quite a sweet scent, but it's got a kind of edge to it which stops it being too uh, young. So I wear this when I want to feel grown up and feminine and expensive, and I think it's an all year round scent for me. 
Next we have Miss Dior, uh, the Dior Miss Sherry. Um, I love this. This, although I, I don't love it as much as I do now because I discovered a lot of fragrances I love more than this. However, I've used a pretty decent amount which shows you how much I love it. Um, I bought this when I was probably about 21, which is probably why maybe I'm gravitating towards other fragrances right now. But this is Wild Strawberry Leaves, the notes, Violet Caramel Popcorn and Pink Jasmine. And I get a kind of very young, very sweet strawberries and caramel, but there's something green in there to kind of offset the sweet. So it's not too sweet, but it is very, it's still very sweet. I wear this at all times all year round, but less so in the summer because I feel like it kind of reacts with your body chemistry a bit uh, cloyingly in the summer. It's just not nice. Okay, Chanel Chance. I really, really don't like Chanel Chance. I always bought this as a gift for my 21st birthday, and as you can see, it's starting to turn and it needs using up. Um, this has pink pepper, pineapple, hyacinth, iris and vetiver in it and when I smell it I get fancy pencil shavings, fancy scented pencil shavings like potpourri with a kind of citrus sharp note but it really really smells like pencil shavings to me. Um, I wear this whenever I can because I don't really like it, I'm trying to get rid of it. Oh, one of my favourites. I'm going to butcher this name, aren't I? Ise Miyaki, Odise, hopefully, or Miyaki. Can any um, experts fill me in? This is one of those fragrances that evokes something for me. Um, the notes are aquatic, floral, lotus, melon, freesia, lily, musk, and woody something or other. Um, but this is the scent that my mum, when my mum used to tuck me in at night when she was having a dinner party at home, I would always smell this on her. This was her special occasion scent and this is just delicious. I love this scent. It just reminds me of, um, I don't know, it, it's such a fresh scent for me but I just love it. It's got a very white floral scent. Um, it just reminds me of standing under a waterfall, that kind of freshness. It just cuts through all my sweet scents. This is just the only, probably the only fresh scent I will ever own. And I say that in the loosest term, apart from the other two that I have, but this is my favourite forever. Um, I wear that mainly evening, but daytime, springtime, doesn't really matter. It's a pretty perennial scent. Okay, we're moving on to Black Orchid by Tom Ford. Um, I got this most recently for Christmas and I just, I smelled it and it was love at first sniff just because it's um, a less, something on my lip, um, it's a less expensive version of Tobacco Veni but it's more feminine. Um, the notes are jasmine, blackcurrant, chocolate, vanilla, so very kind of heady, fruity, deep scents and I get kind of... Um, spicy vanilla offset with like a, a red berry, blackberry kind of twist. I wear this on classy nights out. Um, I don't really wear this during the day. I, It's just the bottle just kind of says to me night out, special occasion. Okay, Ralph Lauren Romance. Notes of rose, citrus, white musk and ginger. I get a zingy fresh rose, but not a grandma rose, um, quite a, a, a really citrusy rose scent. I really don't care for this that much. I like it for spring and summer because it's nice and light, but it's really nowhere near my favourites and I have no idea why I bought it in 100ml because I, I find this difficult to use up. Okay. Lampadatrice. D&G. Love this. Uh, it's a very, very youthful scent, however, so it's really, really not for everyone. This is Watermelon Kiwi Pink Cyclamen. I hope I'm pronouncing that right because I don't know what it is. Um, I get kind of spring, summer days, juicy strawberries, really just kind of juicy fruit salad kind of scent. It's, to be honest, it's more of like um, a body spray to me. I can just, there's a huge bottle, you can just spray it all over. 
Um, it's just a really juicy scent, although it can be quite cloying when it's hot. Paco Rabanne. That's really annoying me. Um, Paco Rabanne Black Excess. Where is it? Paco Rabanne Black Excess is one that I got quite recently for Christmas. Kiwi bought it for me. I smelled it and had to... I, I just... it was delicious. Um, the notes are cranberry, pink peppercorn, um, black violet, cocoa blossom and vanilla. And when I smell it I get dark fruits and vanilla. Um, but without the spice of Tom Ford Black Orchid, because with Tom Ford Black Orchid I get the vanilla and the dark fruits, but like a really strong hint of spice which kind of makes it a bit more classy and masculine, whereas this is very much the daytime version of Tom Ford Black Orchid for me. I wear it winter daytime because it's quite sweet and quite um, deep. I really like this one. Um, one of my absolute favourites, I've repurchased this so many times, this is Jean Paul Gaultier Pour Femme. Um, eau de Parfum always, not the Eau de Toilette, I don't, I don't really believe in Eau de Toilette, sorry. Um, I just really, this is just a classic, um, I'm sure this is on so many people's favourites, but this, the notes are for this, uh, rose, orange, blossom, vanilla, amber, jasmine. And I get a really strong hit of the jasmine and vanilla when I wear this, and it's just a really sexy, feminine, everyday scent for me. It's just, it's just perfect. It's just sweet, but kind of sexy, but not too overpowering. Um, so I wear this every day, every night, all year. It's just, it's just a me perfume. I just wear this when I want to feel myself. Bath and Body Works. This is probably one of the uh, the very few eau de toilettes I actually own. Obviously I bought this in America when I went to New York. I love this. I really love the bottle because it's so jaunty. You could say tacky but I think it's quite sweet. Um, the notes are obviously sweet pea because it's sweet pea fragrance. Watery pear, for, for, uh, watery pear, raspberry and freesia. What I get with this is a kind of synthetic, plasticky, vinyl smell, almost, I don't know how to describe it, but it's not a bad plasticky vinyl smell, it just kind of gives me gives me a slight plasticky edge, um, it's with really sweet flowers, kind of almost a bubblegum sweetness. Um, I wear this spring, summer, warmer weather, it's really nice and light, um, and it does have quite a decent um, lasting power as well. Okay, Philosophy, one of the only clean fragrances you'll ever see me own. I, I'm not a fan, but I have Pure Grace, I have the um, body spray as well. This perfume does not last at all on me, so I layer it, but I sniffed this and fell in love. It's amazing, it's just um, the, the cleanest, I love the smell of soap and washing powder, I love things that smell clean. Not kind of like lemon toilet fresh, but um, soap, um, fresh sheets, that kind of thing. Uh, it's just lovely. So this reminds you of everything kind of white and clean and fresh. Um, I just love the smell. Um, it can be a bit overpowering though because um, when you sp when I spray this it really really gets in my nose even if I keep my mouth shut and don't breathe in that general vicinity this really really gets um, in my nose and it really bothers Kiwi's nose for some reason but the notes are lavender musk and water lily and I just get everything soapy and clean from this um, I wear this all year round mainly daytime um, mostly summer um, that's all I can really say about it. It just made me a daytime scent for me. I'm running out of space to put things to push some stuff out of the way. Okay, Gucci Flora. This was sent to me by a really lovely friend who bought this for herself and it reacted really badly with her body chemistry. It just smelled horrible on her. So she was about to throw it away, so she passed it my way. And I smelt this in a shop the day before and I was I was raving about it because it smells so good. It's not very typical scent for me, it's kind of in the Ralph Lauren romance, but you know, just a better kind of category. Um, the notes are citrus, peony, rose, patchouli and pink pepper. 
And what I get from this is a really kind of light, nice girl floral, like very gentle sweetness balanced with freshness, like it's a very balanced fragrance for me. I wear this is a very everyday fragrance. It actually reminds me of, um, is it J'adore? The tall bottle by Dior with the kind of, you know what I mean? Um, it really reminds me of J'adore by Dior, um, everyday spring days though. A lot of people have commented that this seems to react really badly with their body chemistry. So, it seems to be unpopular on that basis. Jimmy Choo, next up. Um, this, I think, is their signature fragrance. I don't, I don't recall them ever launching a perfume before. Um, this has notes of orchid, toffee and fruit. This hit my the top of my favourite system as I smelled it. I could not stop smelling it. It's just... In the same magazine I had a sample of Womanity um, by... Oh god, Thierry Negle? Is that how you say it? I have no idea with that name. Seriously, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Um, I love this and so I had the sample of humanity and it's made me smell like rotting fruit it was horrible so um, I quickly put this over the top and fell in love um, so it's orchid toffee and fruit and I get Miss Sherry mixed with Coco Mademoiselle just a really sweet fragrance but it has that hint of musk to bring it down it's amazing I love that I wear it whenever wherever I just love it okay and now the name that I can't pronounce this is Angel, um, <laughs> I'm not going to try and butcher the name again, um, I bought this probably when I was about 17, um, we went on a holiday somewhere and my dad treated me to one item of duty free, we always get perfume, Christian and I and my brother, um, so I chose Angel, Angel is a very very foody scent, it's dark chocolate, caramel, jasmine, blackberry, there's way too many notes of this to list, there's so many and it's got a, a spiciness to it too but when I smell it I smell sweet spicy chocolate and it's definitely a winter scent for me, a winter evening or a kind of sexy date night even though I don't really have sexy date nights anymore because I've been in a relationship for five years <laughs> um, it's kind of a, a sexy scent Okay, Lancome Eau Oui, I don't really care for this, this is just not me. My mum bought this for me and it just goes to show how different our tastes are because this is a very, very fresh citrusy perfume which is absolutely up her street and not up mine. This is mandarin, vodka, green apple and cedar and I get a very fresh citrusy scent, um, kind of like being put in stocks and have lemons thrown at you. Uh, very lemongrassy I get. Um, I wear it when it's spring or summer but honestly I don't really like it. Okay, approaching the end. Um, the last perfume uh, I actually have is Harajuku Lovers Music. Um, I used to love this but I smelt it today and it just smelt like something horrible. I don't know. Maybe it's turned. Um, but the notes are peach, jasmine, sweet pea, vanilla and musk. When I smell it now, I get overly strong sweet peach with this kind of synthetic plastic smell. But not a good synthetic plastic smell, just like a crappy perfume synthetic plastic smell. So I don't like it anymore, but um, I wear it almost never. It just has this kind of sickly note in it, which I, I can't put my finger on, but I do not like. Um, so I'm just going to try and use this up and then quietly dust it under the rug. I have a few more bits and pieces to show you. Um, I have Bove Vanilla Pear. I think this is a now defunct company. Um, handmade fragrance. It just smells like vanilla and pear. I also have, this is probably at least, let me think, how old am I? 24. <laughs> it's about 13 years old. Um, I don't even know if they sell this anymore. This is Sorbet de Jeune and this is Craqui Bois. Obviously I bought it in France in a supermarket and I can't bear to throw this away because it smells so good. Really fresh pear, not just like kind of insipid, horrible, mm, just going soft pear. This is really fresh pear. I love it. Kind of like a green apple but, you know, pear. Um, the last thing I have is this 
which is an alcohol free kind of body spray perfume and um, I don't even know how to pronounce that Manoi oh that I'm just gonna butcher that to Tahiti um, but the point is that it smells exactly like summer holidays um, sun tan lotion and oh, I could just smell this all the time it's um, it was sent to me by a lovely lovely friend in France um, she thought I would like it and she was so right she also sent me a box of garden grapes to eat and I ate them within three days um, she just knows what I like uh, it just smells like sun, summer holidays and that kind of reminiscent like sunscreen I love the smell of sunscreen um, so I spray that in my hair because she suggested to spray it in your hair and you just kind of leave wafts of delicious tropical holiday around you yeah so that is my whole perfume collection. I'm actually quite amazed that I got through the whole thing in 20 minutes. I guess that's why I made notes so that I wouldn't kind of ramble on about one perfume for like 10 minutes. But we made it through. So um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, and you know, you got a bit of an insight into my tastes. If I pick a top five perfumes, I would say Isimiyaki. I would say... Gautier and Tobacco Vani, Darisienne, and um, hmm. I can't remember what I said. Oh, yeah, of course, Jimmy Chu, Black Orchid, top six. And that is it. Um, have a lovely day, everyone. I am. I've definitely got to go do some work now. I've got to read um, a really, really boring treatise about Madrid's history, which is quite possibly made up. So.